Um, we've, we've run through the Pretender's history, your history. Uh, we've talked about quite a bit. And um, in, in assessing it, as I'm sure you have quite a bit over the last couple of years, you got what, what must be a fulfilling relationship. You got a baby, you got a hot band, you got a new record, you got a great tour, you have what looks, everything is just shining. Great drummer. Great. Yeah. <laughs> what more could you ask? Are you happy? Yeah, about the same as always. About the same as always. Now, you struck, some of the things I've heard you say over, over the last uh, couple of days have struck me as being rather unhappy, some of the things that... I'm not made happy by my, you know, by the, I, I can enjoy maybe having a nice place to live or, you know, all these material things, you know, including the band, but that's not what life's all about. Are you happy then? If I didn't have the band, I think I would still be, you know, I, I uh, it's, you know, it's a cliche to say it, of course it is, but, you know, really your happiness comes from within and with your own personal beliefs and your feelings, and I'm, as long as I can be happy when I go out in the morning and I walk across the street to get the paper, you know, I dig it. I dig being alive, you know, and that, so I'm happy. And all the, the things that seem to be looming for you. Yeah, well, that's a gas, you know. That's just, you just got to dig that while it's there because you know it's all permanent. Mm -hmm. I mean, impermanent. And you just don't know. And, and you just, uh, I think uh, my situation is pretty good at the moment. I certainly meet girls when I'm in America who think, must think I've got to have really made it, you know. You I mean, even when I'm in a band, I, I've done things they'd like to do, but, you know, obviously that's just not really what it's all about. Do you see any major sort of change for you in terms of what you might be doing in the next couple of years? I don't see one, but, uh, you know, it's, there's a pretty good possibility. I don't know. We were I'd like to think I'd still, you know, maybe be in the band or doing something, but, yeah. you know, like I, I said, I might be burned out. I might not be able to cut it physically anymore. I don't know. And what will you do then? I don't know. But I, well, I, I sound so ordinary to myself when I say this, because this must be the same answer that you get from anyone in a band. But, you know, I, I'd really like to get back into painting and doing the things that I've traveling around things that I I still want to do and I, I will do if I have the time I think that covers it what about you Mark somebody once said that uh, if the more intelligence you have the more complicated your life can be sometimes if, if, if you want to be happy <laughs> it's you I shut up you shut up I want to get my five penny worth in so just shut your mouth now, if you want to be happy, the best thing to do is try and keep your life simple, and that's very true. Because when you've got all these lots of things, you, you know, it just becomes a pain in the ass. And um, that's, you know, I mean, I, I'm sitting here, I've got a beer, you know, I mean, I'm happy. You know, you probably a lot of people there have got beers in their hands as well. Well, that really sums it up, though, really, and seriously. That's me, though. If you but can enjoy <laughs> a good cup of tea as much as I can, you're a happy person. Really you don't take know, things you know, for granted, I, I, but you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a miserable old sourpuss too. You know, yeah, that's, that's my right. nature. I'm, yeah, she is. People think I'm a pessimist, but I'm yeah, not. I'm an optimist. She's not, you know, no. Or at least a pragmatist, anyway. That's, that's my that? beer. That? See, no, I'm, I'm unhappy. You know, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's got your beer. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. happy. <laughs> see, I'm happy. No, you're not happy. You can't always. You see, you can't all be happy. I'll tell. If I were sitting in your chair and you were sitting here and you were asking me that question, uh -huh. I'd probably say the same damn thing. You know, yeah, keep your life simple. And I got a beer and I'm happy. The fact is, though, I'm talking with two people who who weren't happy with you had a beer in Ohio you know yeah and you had a beer when you first came to London but goddamn there was a lot more that you wanted but now we own the beer <laughs> this is <laughs> my beer <laughs> that's what you had to <laughs> no we stole the beer yeah. then <laughs> and now, no, 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 yeah, yeah but you know the, you're just talking about time really you know you're talking about the, the difference in time in a life you're yeah. talking about the difference between someone who's 20 and someone who's 30 or someone who's 25 and someone who's 35, you know, time changes things. Yeah. That's what it said in that great James Brown song, money won't change you, but time will take you on, you know, and that's really where it's at, I think. But don't get me wrong, you know, money, I'm not, I know people who could use a lot more money than they've got, 
you know, and I'm not trying in any way to, you know, yeah, I've got a lot of bread at the moment, you know, so I'm not saying, like, who needs it, you know, because people do need it. That's why we do the song Money, you know, because there's a lot of truth in that. Yeah. But uh, that's not exactly what makes the world go around either.